ic to pccom asked me to do a review of their app. So here it is. <laughs> Not the best intro to a video, but roll the intro. If you've got a GoPro or any action camera and you want to use it for live streaming, well, maybe this is the app for you. Action Cam to PC is a wireless streaming app that allows you to stream your GoPro image to your PC into OBS to stream live. It also works with iPhone and Mevo. There's an app you can download. But I've downloaded the app onto the PC. Um, I'm then going to set it up and I'll walk through the process of doing it. It's relatively easy, I've found. And uh, there's some pros and cons to this if you want to use your GoPro for live streaming wirelessly. Rather than forking out for something like an Elgato capture card, they're about £120 and they're very rare at the moment because, of course, everybody's buying them. So here's an option for you. You can stream it wirelessly from your GoPro through your Wi-Fi to your PC into OBS and use it as a live streaming device. Right, so first of all, we go to ac to pc.com and download the trial version. It's free for 10 days. If you want to buy this software, it is £80. So once the computer's downloaded the uh, installer, we launch it, press next, next, and install. It's downloaded, and then we have to find it on the desktop. It's a little bit messy on my desktop, so I have to search for it in the uh, search tool in Windows. Uh, but we get there in the end. So we launch Action Cam to PC, and this is where we have to go over to the GoPro app on your phone just to set that up very, very quickly. Connect your GoPro to your phone, and then we slide over to set up a live stream. Press RTMP, and then it takes you onto this input page where we have to take that code from the software, put the RTMP code into the streaming software on the GoPro, press set up live stream and takes you over to this other page, press go live and then we are connected to the software through the GoPro wirelessly on the Wi-Fi network. To set this up into OBS, we'll go into OBS now, just launch it very quickly, we press plus, go to add video input device, Press OK, and then in the drop-down menu, you should be able to see AC to PC, and then press that, and it will link it straight up into OBS. Now we're live, you're streaming your GoPro from behind you, and it's all done. So there's some pros and cons to using this app. Um, the, the pros are that it's relatively easy to do it. You set it up through the GoPro app, like I've just explained. Uh, and it works pretty much flawlessly every time. I've had no crashing issues, no problems with connections. Uh, if as long as your Wi-Fi connection is good, it's going to work pretty well. So as far as uh, the actual thing itself, the actual device and the software works together nicely. It connects and it works well. Number two, it's great if you don't want to fork out, like I said before, for an Elgato capture card or any game capture card because these days are relatively expensive. I am looking into some cheaper options and I'll do reviews on very soon. So if you haven't already, please make sure you do subscribe and press the bell so you do not miss any videos coming up soon. It comes with a trial period of 10 days. Um, if you want to purchase a full version, it is 80 pounds, but that's for life. You do get it for life and it does work out in that case a bit cheaper than buying a capture card and the wires to connect the GoPro to the PC. But with that, there are some cons. And the one con is that the quality isn't as good as plugging it into HDMI through a capture card. HDMI is a stronger signal and it's more clear, more, the more clarity, the finer image, and it's gonna have that final output that is gonna look a lot better than projecting it through your Wi-Fi signal. The second problem is because I think it comes with a Wi-Fi signal, there is quite a bit of a delay. Now, if you're using this as sort of a, a second camera, a behind the scenes camera, um, if you're live streaming and it's sort of your behind me camera or your keyboard camera, the delay isn't so much of an issue. But if you're using it as your main device, the delay is going to be an issue. You could solve that in OBS by delaying the audio to match the video so when it streams out it does like, look like it's uh, synced. But for me, wanting to do some stuff with low latency, uh, it's just a little bit of a, a bigger delay. The delay itself, I experienced about three seconds between me moving and the um, image popping up on the computer. So there are a couple of pros, there are a couple of cons. 
So I hope it helped. Thanks for watching. Uh, go and check them out if you're interested in using this app. It's ac2pc.com um, and they seem like a pretty cool company and the website's pretty straightforward. Like I said, the whole um, user interface is relatively simple, so it might be good and might suit some people out there. Until next time though, guys, take it easy. Make sure you subscribe, press the bell so you don't miss any uploads and I'll see you in the next one. See you soon. Bye. Thank you.